Hi, my name is Antti and today I'm going to talk about the common signs that your product manager or product management could work better. One thing is that uh, when the product related decision making goes pretty slow, all the issues appear on your table and you form a bottleneck for the decision making. It's a sign that your product management is not working properly. You might be missing even the product strategy. The delays in delivering your products, if, if that's common, most likely there is something wrong in the product management in your organization. Also the wrong focus on the development, concentrating mostly on the things we have here and today, but nothing for the coming years. In that kind of situation, there is also something wrong in your product management. Also, if you see that your sales organization is not actually selling the right products, so they are concentrating mostly on those old familiar products, which are easy to sell. They know all the customers. It's very easy to get the bonuses, but still, they are putting their effort for a very limited part of your product portfolio. That's a sign that your product management is not working. How product management can actually help in these issues? Some of them are not kind of uh, directly connected to the product management. And it's not that easy to find out that where the actual root cause for that specific problem is. But what comes to the decision making, the product management is the most important party of kind of uh, forming the market outlook, combining it to your company's strategy and forming the product strategy out of that. And one of the main benefits of proper product strategy is that the decision making comes much easier and faster. Not everything has to be escalated on the table of the CEO. Common reason for delays in, in product development is that there is too much to do. So the kind of uh, flow of the work in the product development slows down. The priorities are kind of uh, lost and then nothing comes out or it comes very slowly. And one solution for that is, of course, prioritizing what you are doing, what you are concentrating on. And that definitely starts from product strategy. But of course, on the kind of a daily operative work, the prioritization is also a focus area. It needs to be done in a systematic way. Without any focus on longer term, you might have a good business today or this year or maybe only for this quarter. But if you sacrifice the kind of uh, items which will form the cash flow in the future for the next coming years, most likely your organization will not be very successful in long term. You need to have right balance between this and product management is an art of uh, having systematic tools of evaluating and planning it for forward. One additional thing is that uh, sometimes you are not able to do as much business as you could with your existing product offering. And that's sometimes the reason for that is that the products are not kind of managed. It's not enough that the product is ready for sales. It, it is maintained, it's up and running, but somebody has to take care of the business what comes to that specific product and proactively seek new opportunities, new customers, new customer segments for that specific product. And that is a continuous activity. It's not on off, it's continuous to the very end of the product life cycle of the product. So should you have any signs like this? Slowness in decision making, what comes to the product decisions, delayed deliveries, wrong focus in development, too much weight on the very short term side, not enough for the longer term initiatives. And maybe 
some problems in the selling. So maybe product portfolio is not utilized to the full extent. That's the situation where you should have a close eye to product management and the systematic ways of improving these problems.